Okay, whilst I was just uploading the last video, I realized I could make some improvements to the, the Lisp routing. Uh, so I've done just that. So here we are in AutoCAD, and you'll notice under my multi-leaders, I've actually set up three styles already, box, circle, and hex. Um, just to give you a quick idea what they look like. Uh, and if I zoom in there so you can see it, that's how my box looks my circle and my hex is obviously just going to be a hexagon okay so that's how those three look but if you remember in the last one what I was trying to do was to do away with the fact of having to type in the number each time so I made a couple of improvements um, the first one is to allow an increment for example I might want my starting number to be 10 and my second number to be 20, so I'll put an increment of 10. Okay, um, so I've given you that facility. You can also just type enter to go straight through that um, to stick with the increment of 1. But what you can also do more importantly is you can change the style of the multi leader partway through the command and then continue numbering with a different style uh, from the same number that you last put in. Okay, let me just show you how that works. Again, I have to load the application, and this time it's called Block Leader 3. And you'll notice I've compiled this file as a VLX as well, as well as having a Lisp. Um, I'm going to load the VLX here. And now when I type in, I get Block Leader 3. And this now gives me options for my starting number. I'm going to start at uh, let's just start at one. My increment, uh, let's set that to two just to demonstrate it. And now I get the chance to put in my box style. You notice the numbers go from one to three because I set the increment to be two. But now if I go to change my style from box to circle, I can continue and it continues numbering where I left off, I can now change to hex and once more it'll continue numbering where I left off. Okay, I hope this bit has been useful to you, um, particularly if you watched the last video. Uh, I'm the Adobe Guy and thank you for listening.